Okay, in this video, I'm going to take a look at the sign rule and going to take a look at an ambiguous case where we actually get two answers for the same question. Now, I'll first explain why there is an ambiguous case. Okay, so for that, we need to take a look at the unit circle. And this is a, just a quick sketch of the unit circle. And you see I've drawn in my cast. So this is cosine, all, sine, tan. Okay. And sine is positive in the first and second quadrants. So A means they're all positive here. S means sine is also positive here. So sine is positive here and here. Now, let's look at an example. If we got the sine of, let's say, 60 degrees, which is in the first quadrant, you'd get an answer of 0 0.866, correct, to three decimal places. Therefore, if we were to get the sine inverse of 0 0.866, we would get approximately 60 degrees. But the sine of another number is also eight, 0 0.866. If we got the sine of 120 degrees, you'll get the same answer as 0 0.866. But if you were to type in to your calculator again, sine inverse 0 0.866, it would give you the answer of 60 degrees. So how do we get this one here, 120 degrees? We have to go to our unit circle. So our first angle, 60 degrees, is around about here. Now to get this other angle, 120 degrees, what we have to do is we have to go to our second quadrant and look at our reference angle. So we go from 180 degrees, we go up 60. So that there is 60. And that leaves us with, coming from here, an angle of 120 degrees. That's 180 minus 60 is equal to 120 degrees. So that's how we get two answers for the same question. If we get sine inverse of 0 0.866, you can get 60 degrees and you can also get 120 degrees using your reference angles. Okay, so let's take a look at a question where this is going to be relevant. So in the triangle ABC, AC is 18, BC is 15, and the angle BAC is 50 degrees. Calculate the angle ABC and sketch the triangle. Okay, the reason why this is an ambiguous case is that they haven't told us whether the angle is acute or obtuse. So it can be both. So I'm gonna draw a quick sketch of the triangle here. Uh, this one isn't accurate. I'll show you accurate sketches after. So I have A, B, C, A, C is 18, B, C is 15, and the angle B, A, C is 50, B, A, C is 50. We want to find the angle A, B, C, A, B, C, X. Okay, so let's just solve here as normal. So I'm looking for the angle x. So I'm going to put that on the top left. Sine x over 18 is equal to sine of 50 over 15. Okay, I'm looking to solve for x here. So I'm going to isolate that, multiply across by 18. I get sine of x is equal to 18 sine 50 over 15. So then to find x, that's going to be sine inverse of 18 sine 50 over 15. And if you type that into your calculator, that will work out as 66.8 okay, uh, degrees. So the angle there is 66.8 degrees. But remember from before, it can be 
or it is positive in the second quadrant as well. So I need to do 180 minus 66.8. So also 180 minus 66.8 to give me 113.2 degrees. So those are my two angles. The angle BAC, sorry, the angle ABC can be either 66.8 degrees and 113.2 degrees. And I've drawn a sketch of both triangles here. So in this case, here's my 66.8 and in this case, here's my 113.2. And you can see the two triangles look very different. My third angle in this case here is 16.8 degrees and my third angle in this case is 63.2 degrees. But in both triangles, I still have my angle 50, my side 18, and my side 15. This side is going to be different in each case, and these two angles are different in each case as well. Okay, so uh, just quickly before we finish up, I just want to show you a case where it's impossible to have an ambiguous case. Uh, we saw in a previous video that uh, it's possible for them to just say find the acute angle or find the obtuse angle and that those cases aren't ambiguous either but they could be if they didn't use the words uh, acute or obtuse. In this case it's impossible for it to be ambiguous. Let's say that we were given this uh, triangle here with 50 degrees an unknown angle here and two sides, let's pretend we know them, but uh, just call them A and B here. But let's say we use the sine rule to calculate X and we found out that it's 30 degrees. That would be great. That's a triangle there with 50, 30, and then this would be left as 100. Now, if it was an ambiguous case, I could also do 180 minus 30 to get 150 degrees. Let's try and draw this triangle now. So here it is, 50 degrees, 150 degrees. Now, what goes in here? Well, there's a problem because the three angles of a triangle have to add up to 180 degrees. I already have 200 degrees. So this triangle is not possible so it's not an ambiguous case. There's only one solution here and it's 30 degrees. So just be careful uh, when you're doing questions. Um, try and figure out, is it an, is it an ambiguous case? Um, are they looking for just one answer or are they looking for two answers? And is it even possible to give two answers? Okay, if you have any questions, please ask in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.